Hi everybody, it's Christine Bertram and I'm coming to you live from Diane and Bogie's house yet again on a Friday afternoon. It is 3 p.m. Central on, it is March 10th already, you guys. We're already almost halfway through the month. Uh, now that I think about what day it is, you guys, just a reminder that today is the last day that you can subscribe to get the March Paper Pumpkin Kit. Um, I mean, to subscribe to have it shipped to your house, I do get a ton extra, not a ton, but this month I feel like I'm getting a ton extra. I'm getting like about six or seven extra when normally I only get three or four extra. But I figured this one is going to be a good one and that as soon as you guys start to see the stuff that comes out with this one, especially since you get the extra stamp set with this one that I think people are going to want it. So hi, Linda Hall. Hi, Randy Schultz. Thanks for being the early birds with me today. Oh, so um, <laughs> we are all set up um, in time for our retreat. So um, you guys, this is the makeup class. This one was supposed to be last week, Friday at um, 5 Central. Hi, Feline Mays. And we couldn't, hi, Susan Bellamy. We couldn't get my internet working starting already a week ago. I did not even want to deal with it today. So I just said to Diane, I'm just coming over. We're going to do the live from your house again today. And we're going to just call uh, Spectrum and set up an appointment for Monday morning. I don't have time. <laughs> I've spent over 20 hours with this whole internet thing. Waste. I feel like I've wasted. I didn't spend time. I wasted <laughs> time <laughs> with this, um, especially on Wednesday with like nine hours of just being at t troubleshooting, you guys. It sucked my time. Hi, Sherry Martin. Hi, Jennifer Jones. So I did not have time to waste today. Uh, so today this was spent getting the hive in order. I have Mary Lemke, who's officially already settled in. She helped me. She got over around 1030 this morning. And uh, she helped me get everything set up. So placements are set up, gifts are set out, classes. Like th it's all kind of, it's all ready. So I have this class, you guys. And then as soon as I get done with this, I'm gonna head back and people are gonna start to be there, and including Diane, <laughs> who I'm currently at her house. <laughs> so so this will be a good class, you guys. This is, again, the makeup class. Um, it was a smaller class. I was surprised at that, uh, that there weren't as many people that did this class. Oh my gosh, there's a pearl right in the middle of a flower that is on my scrap paper. It's really funny. I just happened to feel it. <laughs> I'll have to show it to you guys when I put the camera down. Um, but I was really surprised. Hi, Angela Knutson. Um, oh yeah, don't forget to hit the thumbs up per Angela. Um, all right. <laughs> gotta go. Gotta, I can't, you guys, it's like a little bit far away that I can't quite read it. Gotta go. Oh no, with internet. Yep, exactly. Hi, Karen Wetzlein. You guys, it'll get fixed. I just have to be, uh, hi, Becky, Roar. I have to be diligent with um, Spectrum. Uh, I have to get a technician out again and figure out what it could be. Um, we're gonna try, we have one more idea that we're gonna do. So I have two routers set up in my house and we swapped out one router and not the other router. So we're wondering if we should have swapped out the other one. And so we're gonna do a little uh, troubleshooting tonight maybe or um, over the weekend to figure out if we swap out the other router with the other one. Because currently I have three routers in my house right now. Two of them are officially the right, you know, that should be set up and one is the one that we took off. So we're thinking maybe we need to swap the one we took off with the other older one and see if the other older one is the issue. So that's our last piece of the puzzle and thinking maybe that we just swapped out the wrong router. So anyways, so here we are. And thank goodness I have um, access to a little location right here that I can go live because I couldn't have imagined another week of backed up with classes. You guys, I don't have time for backed up classes. <laughs> We've got a pretty tight schedule. And then we have the retreat this weekend. And so you guys, next week is going to be a full week as well. We have Let's Just Stamp on Monday at 1. We have Wednesday at 10 a.m. All my times are central, you guys. I'm in Wisconsin. So if you're watching me and you're new, just know when I say a time, if I don't say the time zone, I'm always central. And so we have the newly created uh, Share, Create, Inspire card class on the books for Wednesday morning at 10. Uh, Mary Lemke is my first guinea. She filled out the recipe card first. And I have uh, two more on standby, Sandy Wicklander and Kathy Stewart. And now I believe there was one more person that I just looked at the list that signed up. And uh, and it's um, the, that person is going to get their recipe card. So Linda Hall, yes, it is freezing. I see that. Do you remember that we did a live last night and we did a live on Monday and the same thing happens. Um, it needs a little bit, I think, to warm up, you guys, for the internet with the... So if it's freezing, and I'm going to repeat this again, if you don't want to watch it because it's buffering on your end, 
you don't have to. <laughs> I never want anybody to go through any pain, agony, suffering, suffering, any, uh, anything. So if it's freezing Linda Hall, just stop. It's probably um, potentially on your end at this point because I'm watching it right now. I have not frozen once since I turned on my phone. So Ferline says it's buffering. You guys, it's so crazy because I'm watching right now and it has not buffered once since I turned it on. So um, buffering can happen on both your end and my end, right? So buffering could do with the download speed that you have on your end. And if there's a lot of people in your area that are all using the internet at the same time, it might buffer on the downloading. But to me right now on the uploading, I'm not buffering on my end. So I'm thinking that I'm okay. So uh, Feline said, my kids had Spectrum for over a year and they had continuous issues. Well, <laughs> I don't want, that's not good for them. I, um, I've had Spectrum for probably 12 years. I bought my house in 2010, so I'm going on 13 years. And this is the first time I've ever had an issue. So I guess, you know, I'm lucky that that has been such a short time. And you guys look at this, how fast this is. Our internet is super fast right now here because I just showed you my phone and put it away. So my timing is right behind um, this. So just know though too, when you have a lot of buffering or freezing on your end, every time it does that little spinny thing, it delays the video. So it makes it that much longer. So with all the buffering we had last night, it was about eight minutes or like six to eight minutes that um, the video actually didn't end and I was already done and I was still watching it. So buffering does that too. So, but anyways, Anywho, we're here to make some cards and um, I'm excited for the Memories and More class. I was starting to say that this class really surprised me because, um, let me just click quick. Um, this class really surprised me because in the past when I've done Memories and More class, I've always had at least 24 to 28 people sign up. One, I actually had 36, which was a really big one uh, for, for ter in terms of a Memories and More class. And I don't know what it was exactly with this one that people maybe were turned off by it. I, 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 don't, I don't know. I can't hit the nail on the head, but I've had a few people tell me that they were surprised when they actually saw the contents of the card pack. And then they were like, oh, I thought it was going to be something different. And I'm like, so did I. You guys, this class was never on the books. I actually originally saw it. Um, that and Feline, exactly. It could be the wind from the, yeah, in Mountain View. You are definitely right. The wind will have a big impact on it. So um, I actually never scheduled this class because of also looking at it in the catalog and thinking, oh, I'm not interested in that. I don't think anybody else will be either. <laughs> well, then I got it and I'm like, oh, this is actually really cool. I need to do a class. And so that's how this class came to fruition. I usually do about three memories and more classes a year, one with the spring catalog, one with the annual catalog, and one with the holiday catalog. So the next one is set for the first week after the 4th of July week. It's usually the first week of July that I sneak one in. And then the other one usually is in October or November, depending on the schedule. And it's usually a Christmas one because they usually come out with a memories and more for Christmas time. And I like to show you guys, so I'm not a big memories and more kind of user. I don't usually keep a photo book or a memory book and use these in the sense that they're entire, entire like they're, they're, they're meant for making photo books, right? Or memories and more keepsake books. I use them to make cards. I'm a card maker. If you guys haven't figured that out, I do a lot of cards. <laughs> I don't do a lot of 3D projects. I don't do a lot of um, samplers. I'm, I'm a card maker. I love cards. Okay. So that's why I'm going to put that out there that like, I want to try to convert this product into making cards because that's what I love to do. So, um, we end up making 15 cards with this by adding in a little packet of extra materials and that extra materials got mailed out to everybody. Um, so there was two options for this class. You could either do the Be Happy Stamper team pricing. And in that case, when you do the Be Happy Stamper team pricing, you get the extra things that you need to complete the kits or the, the cards, I should say. So there's five extra card bases, five extra envelopes, and all the mats that are used to add to the class. So if somebody got the Be Happy Stamper pricing, this was the packet. It was about enough. It was about five card kits, basically, is what it ended up to be. Hi, Susan Wormley. I use this Memories and More card pack to make another envelope book. Yay, awesome. Okay, I just saw my first buffering right here and then it stopped. So, um, all right, I think we're okay though. <laughs> so if you got the Be Happy Stampers team pricing, you got this. If you got the whole class from me, you got that pack plus the roll, the three rolls of twine. 
You got the embellishments that we're gonna be using for class. You got the card pack that looks like this. Uh, it says, enjoy the memories card pack. And you also got the note cards and envelopes. So this is what you got. Um, I do have a couple left in case anybody is interested in this class, just reach out to me. Um, the entire class, this was $50 and it makes um, at least this right here, it makes these 15 cards. But the other cool thing is it only uses half of the note cards and envelopes and half of the card pack. So you still have another half of it to make like potentially 15 more cards if you would add this much more stuff. You could end up making 30 cards um, with a little bit more paper included. So the card, it was specifically designed to only use half of this so that you could use the other half for something else. So, and again, I do have a couple left in case anybody is still interested. I didn't get this one because I just was, wasn't was overwhelmed with the suite. I have loved all your, and so Feline, <laughs> once you see these cards, you might be like, I think I want one of your last ones because I do have two left. And so, um, uh, you once you see it. So this is part of the suite that is called The Greatest Journey, you guys. Uh, and so The Greatest Journey has a stamp set. It has all these dies with um, outdoorsy kind of things, a biker, um, a hitchhiker, <laughs> a runner, tenting, outdoor treesies, and a little moon. And I haven't officially decided because I am slightly on the fence, but Feline just said she wasn't overwhelmed with the suite. I don't think a lot of people were overwhelmed with the greatest, greatest Journey Suite. And that worries me about a decision that I have to make. I am going to be doing a game night in April. I've already got four people signed up, so they trust whatever it's going to be. They know it's going to be great. And, um, but I haven't picked the bundle or stamp set or suite of products that I'm going to use with it. Hi, Donna Simmer from Vancouver, Canada. So this is where I'm going to put the vibes out there because I haven't officially 100% decided, because I haven't even started designing the cards, but they're gonna have to get designed next week. I was actually contemplating using The Greatest Journey. And it, it operates like an ink, paper, scissors, where you get a quarter pack of the DSP. You're not gonna get the twine. I'm definitely not gonna pick that twine. I will pick a different ribbon that coordinates with the cards I'm designing, and I haven't picked the embellishment. But hear me out, that paper is so cool with the mountains and the backgrounds. And I was gonna do one of those um, flying seagull cards. I was gonna say pigeon, but it's not. It's a, a flying seagull card where, um, so here's the card. And I'm looking for feedback. Cause if you guys are like, no, we hate this. I'll change my mind and go down a different path. And I'm okay with that. But picture the greatest journey designer paper with the mountains. I was gonna do one of the flying seagull cards so that it spans out like a panoramic. And you, again, because you get your designer series paper, you would be able to, to cut the pieces, to panel them in, and I would provide the die cuts. Like one card would have the biker on it, one card would have the runner on it, one card would have the hitchhiker, and one card would feature the tent. So with that being said, you'd get four cards using all that pretty greatest adventure where you would not have to own the stamps or the dies per se, because I'm going to design them in a way that the designer series paper speaks for itself and all you really need are sentiments. Hi, Hilda Nell. So I'm putting that out there, but I love this layout a lot. And I feel like this would be so cool with them, some of that paper. So um, just like the Irresistible Blooms class, you guys, I am um, like in this case, this is the stamp stack that's coming up later this month. I have it so that all you need are a sentiment, a sentiment, a sentiment, a sentiment, and a sentiment, right? You don't need to have another flower stamp set if you do not want another flower stamp set. So I'm looking for feedback and you don't have to write it in here. You don't have to, um, I'm just, you can message me. You can tell me, yeah, that would be a great idea or maybe that would be not good. But um, I haven't really featured the stamp set or dies or the paper in anything. The ribbon got used in this suite of products um, or this class, but I'd find a different embellishment. And so that was my general thought. And I'm, I just, I haven't a hundred percent decided. So I thought that's why I'm going to put it out here. Um, I did have this here for a reason too, you guys. I wanted to show you this because if you got my celebration celebration last night, 
you would have gotten it and it probably was popped open like this with your treat hanging out of it like that. If that was the case and you want to reuse this pillow for something else, I tried to pull off um, this tear and tape. It kind of just rolls right off of the edge. It's, it's lost its stick, unfortunately. So you look at that. It just rolls right off. Okay. So if that happened to yours and you want to fix it, I was going to bring this along last night and I completely forgot. Just pull it off like that. It's okay. And what you're going to do to fix it is just put a little bit of liquid glue along that edge. And I'm hopeful that that just folds down. Okay, a little bit of liquid glue. So for those that got this, you guys, I I know I, I'm like 45 of them or 47 got mailed out. I like the idea of the greatest journey. Go for it. Okay, Susan, great. I like it. So one person said that. Yay. Okay, I think the cards are going to be awesome. And if you guys know, you don't have to buy the stamp set or the dies to make the cards. And yet you get some of like some cards from the suite. I think that it's a good idea too. I, I, I was leaning towards it. So you guys, so anybody that got this Treatsy package last night or in your kit and we went over the class last night, you know, liquid glue and let it bond before you put your chocolate back in there. So this was Dar's. She hasn't picked hers up yet. So I thought I'd show you that because it was popped open on my counter. <laughs> so, all right. So that's that. All right, I did want to share this to you guys before I get going. I found this Happy Mail in my pile of cards that I usually have here because usually when I want to show off Happy Mail, I set it on the top. Well, this uh, Pretty Little Chicken card got stuck into all my cards that I usually give away. And I honestly, you guys, it says totally handmade. <laughs> but I don't know. It says have a happy day. It's embossed with some like honeycomb on both sides. You guys, I don't know who made it though, but I just wanted to show you I did have some Happy Mail that came in recently but for some reason I lost the envelope or the name that went with it so I just wanted to share that with you guys um that that came in all right so let's get going on our class so let's put these guys my nail files back all right so let's do roll call really quick and call off anybody who signed up if you're watching now or watching the replay go ahead and shout out and say hey I'm here so hi Jean Terwilliger all right you guys we have, for the online version, we have Suzanne Neal, Jennifer Jones, who just got off of work. Yay, Jennifer, you made it in time. Sherry Everett, Patsy Roberts, Carissa Alberts, Doris Munson, Sarah Merchant, Kat Birch, Jeannie Parker, Sharon Davis, Karen Woods, Annette Rollin, Sandy Wicklander, Bonnie Lesperance, Beverly Smith, Sherry Stewart, and last but not least, Anna Zastro. And then, you guys, in person, we had a really small crew. We only had three people that did this class in person. We had Judy Immel, Joyce Cornick, and Nicole Herrick. So I do have some spots left um, in case anybody is interested. Just reach out to me. Once you see it, you might. Oh, oh Feline said she will take one of them because I never disappoint. All right, well, Feline, one of them is yours. And I'm going to just put your name down here right away so that we have it. All right, cool beans. All right, I got you on the list. So you are number 18. Uh, when we do a door price drawing, you're going to be included in that. Hi, Mitzi Stanley. All right, so you're in on that. All right. So we did roll call. So Feline, I have a PDF tutorial. I'll email it to you as soon as I remember to do it. I had forgotten Sherry and Bev and Anna just signed up over the last couple days. And so I was able just to resend the PDF to them. I'll remember to do it. And you're on my list, so I'll make sure to get it sent to you. Um, oh, Randy Schultz, you're watching. Okay, let's go back here, you guys. So, Randy Schultz, this card was from you. There must have been a post-it note in it or a, a little note, and I I must have, t I don't know what I did with it, but you guys, so this came from Randy Schultz, the chicken card. So, very good. I love it. We connected the dots, and you happen to be watching, Randy. That's awesome. Cool beans. All right. Well, Linda Hall says she loves the chicken set. Yay. Okay. And I got um, Feline. All right. So we're talking about the tutorial. So you guys, this is the tutorial for the Memories and More card class. It is a bigger one. Um, Bonnie Kemen says she likes the idea for the game night. Yay. Awesome. Um, are you, where are you? You sound sick. <laughs> I'm okay, Catherine Healy. I am, um, if you, you need to go back and watch some of my videos from the last, I've done like five of them since last week. 
uh, my internet is not working at my house for uploading. And um, that's why. I'm not sure what's going on, but that's what we got going on. All right, so PDF tutorial, guys. So just know that after this class, maybe like within the, the next 24 to 40 hours, I'll be able to, I always add the link for the, the like right now this link for um, the video, the YouTube live, I put that in here. <laughs> I saved a gem right here, you guys. I, I'm gonna use that at some point. But the tutorial is, a, it's a bigger one. So this one is $15 if you wanna get it um, through my online store at 16, but if you get it from me privately outside of my store, it's 15 if you send the money like through electronically, um, like PayPal friends and family or sending a check. But it has every card in here, a photograph, and it has instructions, it has what's used. And we're gonna be working through this tutorial. I purposely put these cards in an order and they correlate to the pack that you're gonna use. They correlate to this pack right here. So if you're doing this class with me, Please don't get ahead of yourself. I really like for everybody just to watch this to see the process of merging. So separating and merging, okay? So don't pull this out and like put your pieces all over. They are in a specific order. <laughs> okay, yes, Mitzi, I'm so happy that this class is not buffering as well. It's awesome. So we are going to work through this tutorial in a moment. But the first things first, what I want everybody to do is open up your card packs here. And we're going to divide these into two. And then we're gonna start merging our piles. And this is how I've done every Memories and More class. And it seems to work out smoothly that it creates less headaches for people. And it just makes the, making the card process that much easier. So this is the, like, the meat and the potatoes of this class is this first few minutes of separating and then merging and then like we roll through these cards really quickly. So what's awesome about the memories and more card packs this time, the Christmas one, they didn't do so hot for me. They made like, it wasn't even like with this, you guys, your pack, you have two of everything. The Christmas one, they had like six or five of the little ones and three of the big ones. And it just threw off the card making process where for this, it was really cool that you had two of each. So for the designing of this class, we're only actually using one set of these. Hi, Linda Kester. All right, so what I'm doing, you guys, is I'm dividing these. Um, while I'm dividing these, there are a couple of them that need to be cut. And I guess what I'm going to do is as long as I see them, I'm going to pull them out. Thank goodness I did this class um, in person the other night. Um, I'm going to pull out a few of these, okay? That those three actually, and this one, they get cut. Meaning we have to um, cut them to make them right. So I'm still doing two piles, but I'm just pulling out the ones that I know I need to cut. So it was, in case you're wondering, these four are the ones you want to set off to the side. There are two sheets of stickers as well. So let's pull out the stickers here and then Okay, so this is my extra pile. This is my going to use pile. And again, I have these set out only because we cut them. So if you look at this right here, this is the one that was used here, okay? And if you look at this one, you can see what I mean by we need to cut it, okay? That's why I saved out these four. Oh, not the card. Now I have these out of order, let's put that back. Okay, but we're not done we want to do the same thing to this little pack. So why don't you grab your scissors and open this one up as well. Mm, come on. Same thing happens with these. These are, there are two of each. Okay. So we're going to go through, you guys, I fan things. Um, if you've never fan things, you might consider trying it. It really helps to like get your fingers on it. So I go like this, and it fans them out. And then I can go like one, two. And I have like, they're fanned so I can easily, um, hang on, <laughs> I already almost messed up. I gotta pay attention here, guys. All right, so I'm just going back and forth, putting one on each pile. Okay, that's all we're doing, you guys, just divide them out. So far, so good. Okay. 
This is the easy part, you guys. Dividing these is easy. In the past, sometimes the cards were not in the right order too, so you had to pay attention, but these seemed like everybody was successful that they were all next to each other. Okay, so this is my save for later pile. This is my going to use pile. You guys, at the moment, um, Catherine Healy, yep, you definitely can purchase the kit. You betcha. Um, for those that want to get this kit, it was $60 mailed because the class was 50 and I put it in a priority padded envelope. So it'd be um, $10 for shipping. So $60. Um, the gingerbread memories are more. Yes, that was a good one. Hi, Doris Munson joining late. All right, catch the replay later. That's perfect. So you guys, you have 20 envelopes. They are all identical and you have 20 of them. And at the moment, you don't need to do anything with them because they're all decorated nicely. They're, they're good. You don't have to do anything. Um, so just Catherine Healy, just so I don't forget here, we are going to put your name right here. So I have you on the list already. And then whenever you have a chance, you can send the money on over. Um, all right, now the note cards here. You guys, there's 10 blue and there's 10 yellow. And again, you're only using half. One, two, three, four, five. Save for later. One, two, three, four, five. You need these. And then one, two, three, four, five. So this is your pile for later. I, like the envelopes, you know, you can save them later. But ultimately, this is extra, you guys, that you can make more cards with it however you want to. Okay, so I'm going to put that on the save for later pile. And now what you guys want to do is you have a pile of note cards like this. We have our pile of stickers and card. I call these mats, okay? And then we have the four that are here. And I think what we're going to do first is we're going to cut these to how they need to be cut so that as we're merging everything together, they can get merged in right away. All right, so let's think about how we're going to do this, okay? So this card right here, <coughs> so in this, I really was vague. I will admit I was vague. It says, it says cut the four by six card to two and five ace by six, save the remaining. So like, that's like, well, what? Okay. So like, that's why it's good that you watch the video, you guys. Okay. So we can do this as a group. So this is your card and it says cut it at two and five ace. So if you take your ruler and measure here, two and five ace is right here. You're ultimately cutting it right at the base of the yellow line. Okay, so we're gonna do that. So let me grab my trimmers. And I said two and five ace. So we're gonna cut. So what we're doing is we're cutting the four that need to get cut so that we have those pieces ready to go. And if you come over here, one moment. Just wanna make sure I cut it right. Okay. What's happening is if you look at the back, we're using this on a different card and we're using this on this card. So two, so we're not cutting it right here. Sorry, I did say that wrong. We're not cutting it right here. We're cutting it at two and five ace, which is right here, okay? And what happens now is this is what is here, okay? And this, when we flip it over, is used on a different card, okay? So that's what we're cutting on this one. So that's good. We have this ready to go. We'll put it on our ready pile. And let's look at this guy. This one, it measures three and three quarters wide, okay? So what we're gonna do on this is we wanna cut off, because the back side we're gonna use for, oh, actually we use the black for something else. So it's kind of like you want to center these and ultimately you're going to be cutting off. I think it's just an inch and a quarter. It's an inch actually. Nope. It's an inch and a inch and an eighth. Okay. I think an inch and an eighth from each side. Okay. So this is a good thing why it's important to watch <laughs> before so that you know what to do. So um, we're cutting it at an inch and an eighth. So we're going to go here. And you do need this black. You're going to use it at something and something else. And if you look here, that looks to be just perfect. And now we're going to flip it over and cut an inch and an eighth. 
off on the other side, okay? So that gives us the piece that we use right here. And you have these black strips of paper. They are actually used in a different card somewhere. I promise they are, they got used. So that's how we're gonna cut these two. So just cutting an inch and an eighth off of each side. So that's this one. Now we have these guys here. Let's find them. Um, let's see where they are in the pile and we'll just, here's this guy. So you would never have guessed that this one is what's used here, but it is. And on the back side, we actually are gonna use these white strips. So this one measures at three and a quarter by four. So the four is the right, right? And three and a quarter is what we need here. And um, it's like, it was a little bit of a guessing game for me with this one. I knew that I just needed it right here. So um, I'm just gonna grab my trimmers and kind of eyeball that I'm gonna cut it right about here. It was, it was just guessing, I, I promise you. It was just a little bit of a guessing game on the first one because the, the distance on this side didn't matter. But, so you got that cut like that, and now it's important that you do three and a quarter. So we're gonna go three and a quarter. And when you do that, it, like that might be a little bit more white than that, but it's okay. You do need to save these white strips because they get used on a different card. Okay, but that's for this one right here. And then lastly, it says thinking of you. And that one gets cut up as well. Let's just see this guy right here. So on the back side is flowers and on this side is this right here, okay? So what I did is I cut it at three by four. So I think I did, hang on, let's measure this one. It's not actually, this is two and a quarter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this at two and a quarter In all honesty, I just want to cut it right at the pink. I just wanted the pink here. So that goes here like that. Now this one needs to get cut at, and actually, hang on one moment. Hang on one moment. I feel like that thinking of you is also in a little baby card. I feel like the other side got used for flowers. You're the best. Thinking of you. Hang on, you guys. Just give me a one second. I want to... Okay. I'm putting that right back to where it was. That is this one right here. <clears throat> and it wasn't the flowers. Okay. For the moment... I think that this is this piece. Judy Immel, if you were watching, you'd have to tell me. <laughs> oh, Catherine Healy, thanks so much for sending it. Hi, Suzanne. Okay, I, I'm i pretty sure that this is this one and we're just gonna leave it like this for the moment because we can always cut it when it, times to, it comes time to make the card because I wanna make sure that it is this, in fact, in, that, in fact, that piece. Okay, <laughs> so we cut those pieces up so what we have now, you guys, is you have your pile of 10 bases here. You have a pile of cards that we're gonna use. You have this pile right here from me. Okay, so what we wanna do is we're gonna look at the tutorial here. And we're actually gonna start from the back because I know how it's like, it's nice to work forwards, right front to back. So we're actually gonna start with the very last card here. I don't know where to set this, but I'm gonna set it right here, I guess. I don't know if you guys can kind of not really see it, but it's like I'm working off the tutorial. The very last card is this one. I'm gonna set this here. I'm gonna set these cards here and I have them all in the right order. So at this point, what you wanna do is pull the, yeah, this upside down. Okay. so. You guys, when you got your, oh, I gotta tell you guys something. Okay, this is the class that I swore out loud the other week and I, when I realized that, oh man, I forgot to put everybody's envelopes in their kits. So there are three people, like I think 
Doris, Sharon Davis, and one more person. You have not gotten another card class for me since I mailed out your package. Maybe Sarah Merchant. So I have all three of your sets of five envelopes. Okay, everybody's got envelopes, I think. But just know I owe you five envelopes. But like Jeannie Parker, Karen Woods, Annette Rollins, Sandy Wicklander, Jennifer Jones, Suzanne Neal, Cherry Everett, Patsy Roberts. Like what I did is I sent you another package of card classes in recently after this one shipped and I included five blank envelopes. Hi, Penny Powell. I included five blank envelopes. So if you get five envelopes with a post-it note with your name on them, just know that those are your envelopes that go with this card class. It was a thing I forgot, but envelopes were like the least thing. I mean, that could probably be the best thing that I forget to put in somebody's card kit, especially this class. So, all right. So just know that when you look at this packet, like some of you will, I it didn't have your shipped. And so I was able to flip them in the back here. You don't need to do anything right now with the envelopes, you guys. Um, just set it off to the side because, um, set it off. To, I even had six in that one. Set it off to the side because you could stamp these later. Okay. So you have this pack now where this black, big um, card base is on the back, and then you have little pieces on the side. What you do want is to have this upside down, meaning that you have your plastic, pull this out, and put this so the top piece is this black piece. All right, so we're starting that one upside down. This, we don't know where stuff is, but we're going to be working backwards. And the first card that we're going to be working with is this card right here. So what we want to do, we're going to make a pile of these card pieces in the order that we're going to put them together. So the black base is this one. So pull this one and you're going to just, you're going to start making a pile guys. So here's this one. Now this one also has a white inside. Okay. So here's your white inside. There are some stickers on here. It says so exciting, the best time and so sweet. So now the question is, do you want to pull your stickers and put them on this pile? Why not? Right? Because um, then it's going to be easy. All right, so we have so sweet. So I'm actually going to cut these stickers and put them, these two right here, because I wanted to use up, I used up every sticker, you guys. It was so exciting. Ha ha, so exciting. Okay, so those two, and then happy days. Okay, so all four of those stickers go with this one. So we've got our inside, the three stickers, and now on the next thing on the pile, you have this orange piece, which is the bottom, and you have this black piece, so put them on the pile. And now what we need to do is find these two pieces right here, and you see there's a black piece right here? I said that we need to save that. That one gets cut off. That was cut off from one of our cards. It was one of the pieces cut off, so that's here for us. But now we need to find that black polka dot, the black the polka dotties, and then that diagonal arm thing. So let's see once what we can find here. So now you're gonna just scroll through here. Oh, there it is. So that's this one. And then we need to find that yellow slanty diagonal thing, which is the last one in my pile, okay? All right, so now we have all the pieces for this card. We're going to um, we're gonna leave it just like that. All right, so then the next one here looks like this. So you're gonna grab your black card base, your white inside, Nothing on the inside of that one. You have a mint base um, mat. Then we're going to find this green mint piece. So, haha, <laughs> guys, it, these word bubble things were not fun. I, didn't, I don't like word bubbles. I'll be honest with you. This does not get me going, but I love the, the striped lines and it covers it up. So, <laughs> all right. So now we need to find the, oh, right here it is. So this is that and that goes on that black piece, right? There are three star stickers and it says, so glad we are friends. Oh, here's the so glad we are friends. So let's, and one star is there. So let's cut this so that we got our star. And then that's a bigger star, bigger star. I'm gonna grab these two smaller stars. Why not? We'll grab these two. Just like downtown. Okay, so we've got three stars. I'm so glad we're friends. Oh, and there's one more sticker on here. It's really hard to see it, but I had to use it up. So there's a little sticker right here. That is actually 
this little bannery thing right here. And it says just for you, but you cover it up. But I did put that on this card, so let's pull that out. All right, that's what we need for this one. So we're gonna flip this this way. I am headed to take the grandkids to a book fair. What is the price for this class? You can ship it with my other classes. Yes, Feline, why don't you hold off on sending me money? Because I believe we got to figure some things out that I feel like <laughs> you, you, we can consolidate something for you, I think. Because I'm going to be kidding up on Tuesday for By the Bay. And so we can consolidate something. Grab your balmy blue. Grab your white for your inside. This one has a star on the inside and four stars on the outside, but this is the balmy blue piece. You have a black piece and you need to get your other three stars or sorry, four stars. So why don't you pull that out? So the class is $50, but shipping is 10 usually. But if you've already paid $6 shipping for something else, I mean, we'll figure it out, right? So don't worry about sending anything quite yet. All right, so grab that star. And then you're gonna need the star that's over here. There's one, and then you got a star right here. All right. Now the piece that is on here says thrilled for you. So let's scroll through here. There it is. Okay, so that thrilled for you goes on this pile. That's everything we need for this card. So then, hi, Donna Gruski. Next one, grab your petal pink base. You're gonna need the white inside and a happy for you sticker. So here's our white. Here's our happy for you. So cut that off. There's happy for you. Then there's this white piece for the background up here. And you're going to need the black piece here. And then we need to go find our pink and our notebook paper. So it's a notebook paper that has a heart on the top. There's our pink, ha ha ha, very sneaky. That is the pink one, that's that. And then we need the, can do that heart one. Here it's got, you're the best. And then it's got that heart up here. Now my heart looks different because I put that heart, this heart over the top of it. So you're gonna cut off the heart and you need the congrats here. So why don't you pull out this congrats. And that goes right here. All right, you guys, and note that I'm not pulling anything out with ribbon or embellishments. I'm just getting the card pieces together. So next you have a balmy blue. So grab your balmy blue. And then you need a white inside. So grab your white inside on the inside. Oh, that's right. Okay. That's another piece that we need to cut. I'll think about that in a moment. So there's a butterfly up there. The butterfly's right here. So you got a butterfly on your inside. Then you have this petal pink for the outside. The flower piece. I think is this one. I'm pretty sure it's this one. And then you need the balmy blue with these polka dotties is, all right, that might now come from our big pieces. So just let me see what we got over here. Nope. Okay, one moment. It says, thinking of you, maybe I missed it. It. Okay, nope, hang on, it's around here. So, I'm. let me just double check. That one was that, that one, not that I grabbed the wrong one for something. No. Nope. Mm, there it is, okay. All right, we have a slight issue because this one is actually for this one. So you guys, we pulled that black polka dot. That's actually for this one, but then we need the polka dots. There's, hang on, there's, there's another one. There's another one, we're gonna get it. 
the very first card has black little polka dots there. There's two of them. Okay, did you see what just happened there? These look identical, but they're not on the back side. I just grabbed the wrong one for the very first one. I needed to bring the Enjoy the Adventure one goes here. The Thinking of You goes here. So we just got to rearrange that slightly. And now I'm going to put this back on top because we're back on track. But this one also has some stickers. It has this... It has... Let's see what it has. This flower right here. And then it has a couple leaves. So these guys are a flower and a blue leaf and a green leaf. They go on this pile. Okay, so we got that back in order. Now, hello, Jeannie Parker. Heidi ho, good neighbors. <laughs> so this one, you guys, now we're gonna start pulling from over here. So you need one of these bases. And then, remember in the beginning, we cut some of that black off of that one card. So that little scrap is in here yet, this guy. That's where this goes. You need to grab one of these black mats, which is underneath. And now we need to find the thank you so much. Thank you so much. Right here. Okay, so that goes on the black. And now we got to find those lines. Now, those lines, I think, let me just make sure. I think it's this guy over here, this one. If I had to guess, it's this one. That guy goes right here. So that's on the back is so grateful. All right, that's everything for that one, I think. And we're gonna do this one. So now you're gonna have to grab one of these bases. This is a black from here. And then we need to grab that. We cut that earlier, this guy right here. That goes on the side. And then the thinking of you, and I'm not gonna cut it. Ah, yes, that's exactly what happened. Did you guys see on the inside of this one, there's that little strip right here? Uh-huh, that I think is three quarters of an inch. It is three quarters of an inch. That is from right here. <laughs> we gotta cut off three quarters of an inch. Right here. Okay, so that's our inside for that other one but we also have a little bit of pink on the edge here and we wanna get that off. So I'm gonna cut it right at three inches and get that little schnibble off. All right, that's exactly what happened. So if we look now, this is the thinking of you that goes here. And if you guys recall back here, that blue base with the flowers, there was a little strip in, that's where this little strip goes. So we're gonna just meander back here and just set that right in here with that. Boom. Yay, we're on track. All right, next one is this yellowy base. And you need to grab, that has a blue and a green. So you wanna grab that one. Well, here's our brick one. To me, that looks like little bricks. So there's that one. And you're like, oh, where is that one? Well, let's look over here. And see, oh, there it is. Oh, there it is, back again. Okay, so that is this one right here, but you guys, we have to cut it at three inches. So let's grab our cutter. We're gonna cut this at three, because half of six is three. We're gonna save that for a different, oh, there's, you are my sunshine. Okay, so, okay, so there's this piece. You have to grab one of these black mats to go with it, and we need the little word bubble. I did a word bubble, you guys. I really did. I had to do a word bubble. So we did, thank you. So let's put that little sticker. Oh, I got stuck, pull a stick. Okay, a little word bubble. There's a little, oh, that's part of the brick. Okay, I think that might be it for this one. Oh, no, there's this guy. There's a little sticker on the side here. It is this guy right here. So let's cut the little banner off and cut these in half. And that little banner goes there. All right, next one. We've got another yellowy base. So grab a yellow base. And now for this one, we've got this bigger mat goes down first. 
You have a black mat that goes there. You have a hello, hello, hello. And you need the yellow. I totally got rid of the word bubble by just using the border. Okay, so that little guy goes behind there. And then here's your hellos. And I think that's it for this one. Okay, next one is another one of these yellows. And you guys, here's the You Are My Sunshine, because remember we used the other half on the other one. But you need to grab yourself a little black base. And then we have that other orange one. Orange, aren't you glad we have class today? There's orangey. There's a little banner on the side, which is right here that says remember. And that's it for this one. Next, the only dog card we have. I really thought all these were gonna be pets and dogs and cats, and they really weren't. So here's a blue base. We need these black stripes. Oh, there it is. There's the black stripes for the bottom. You need one of these black mats and then the friend one goes with it. And then there's a little polka dotties on the side here. Let's cut that off. Okay, so that little polka dotties on the side. I think that's it for this one. We have this one right here, which is another blue base. Oh man, here's the little strip that we cut way early on. It's right here, so you've already got it cut. That goes on the bottom. Now you have this mat should be the next one. It should be slightly bigger than all the rest and it fits, oh man. Oh, I just realized what I did. I, uh, I uh, cut it the same height of this. So I know that I just did a mistake. So hang on. And it, not for anybody that took the class with me, I made extra of this one today for all my retreat takers. They're gonna be doing this class with me this weekend. And I made a couple extra. And now I'm wondering, this guy right here is the right size because that was originally kitted up, yup. So I need to put a post-it note that I need to fix this and add, it's actually three and a half by four and a quarter in black. And now I got to make six of those because I made up six extra for my retreat. And now I'm glad I figured that out right now. But everybody who got this class mailed to you, you're, you're fine. It was just my extra retreat ones I made up extra. So the, the last one that you should have shouldn't be that size. It should actually be big enough to fit behind the hello there. And then this is where all these little banners come in. There's three little banners. <clears throat> Actually, there's two. And what we do is we use the little edge of that one. Okay, so that's it for that one. This one uses another one of these blue bases. It uses this big word bubble gets covered up. You have an embossed painted texture mat that goes with it. You have this little blue piece, which you're like, why it's not big enough. We're gonna cut it in half and split it, okay? So we're fine. This is the stripey one. And then you have a happy birthday, happy birthday. And I wonder if there was anything on the insides of these, no? Nope. Oh, going back to the dog one, you guys. The dog one has the dog sticker on the inside. So that's where you need to put, oh, did I do that already? Oh, no, he's right here. <clears throat> so the dog one, I'm gonna just stick the dog sticker back in there. All right, so now we're down to a yellow one. So you have one yellow base left. <clears throat> you have celebrate, celebrate, go on and celebrate. You have, this piece is for the top and this little sticker is for the bottom. Uh, that's it. And then this one is the blue base. You have two white strips that were cut from that other. And then you have cannot thank you enough. Now, we're left with some stickers, and where do these stickers go? <clears throat> we'll find them. We're just going to... Oh, there's a flower. So the orangey one got this flower right here. So that second last one, orange, got the flower. Happy birthday didn't have anything. I'm going to flip these this way. Hello there didn't have anything. We already did that. Oh, hello, you're my sunshine. That's where the sun goes. So you are my sunshine, goes the sun. And then hello has, oh, perfect. This one has just wanted to say hi. The flower 
and the other flowers. So that one is the Hello, Hello, Hello. Hello, Hello, Hello goes with all this. And then that little last flower, that goes on the inside of the Thinking of You one, if you want to put it there. So let's find that one, and it is this one. So, you guys, what happens now is you have this entire pile that's ready to start going through everything. And it is now in the exact order that this tutorial is. And that's what we're going to do now is we're going to start putting these cards together. And I've got my stack in order here. And I'm going to start working through them as well. And now what you're going to need is, <clears throat> excuse me, your twine. And then you have a whole pack of embellishments. I only brought a little bit of embellishments for me. Um, and I don't think I'm going to embellish mine now. I will embellish them later. Because I know we're already 58 minutes into it, but we've got the meat and the potatoes done now. I have to remember to drink water. Otherwise, I will dry my throat out. <laughs> you guys, not good. Okay. <clears throat> Are you guys good? Give me some love, attention, thumbs up. So let me know you're good. I mean... This now is going to be so fun to roll through these cards. You guys, by doing a little bit of that um, prep work of getting these cards, the kits in order, it's good to go. Like, it's going to be fun to roll through these now. All right. So we're going to flip to the first page. Again, for those that, if, uh, if anybody wants to get the PDF tutorial that we will roll through these with the pictures and the instructions and the measurements, you can always get it in my online store. I'll probably have it in there in the next 24 to 48 hours. Just depends on how crazy my life is over the next <laughs> 24 hours. All right. I lost an embellishment on here. I see that. It must have fallen off along the way somewhere. Oh, that just needs a little piece of black. All right. So this is our first card. So what I'm going to do, you guys, I'm just going to set these off to the side so I have a little bit more room. I'm just going to pull them in one by one. So what you want to do is take and fold your card base and burnish it. <clears throat> this is probably the easiest one out of all of them, you guys, I would have to say. Ultimately, these two white strips go on the side, and that gets... Oh, I lost my bow. That's what happened. There was a bow down here. Oh, yeah, look. My bow is missing. Look at that. It, and that's why I had that goo ball right there. Okay. Oh, I forgot my bow maker. Um, hang on, you guys. I'm going to see if Diane's around. I didn't bring my caddy with me, so hang on. We're going to phone a friend right now. <clears throat> We're going to see if Diane will bring her bow maker. It's probably packed for, um, can I borrow your bow maker? <laughs> it's probably packed for the retreat because Diane's with me all weekend. Can I borrow your bow maker, please? Okay, so we can always add the bow later in life if she doesn't get that message. All right, Jennifer Jones is ready. Yay. Okay, we can always add the bow later. But I do have this black popped up and I have the white glued flat. And so one of the things that you can ask yourself is, is it easier to glue the white pieces onto here or is it better to glue them on here? And honestly, it's probably a horse a piece. But I think what I'm going to do first is put a little bit of liquid glue here. I do have my ruler. I'm an eyeballer, you guys. So I'm going to eyeball this first one. And because I'm using liquid glue... I have a little wiggle room time to just, like that is an inch and an eighth. And you guys, that's an inch and just a hair over an eighth. So there we go. No, oh, she got my message. Yay. <laughs> Diane to the rescue. <laughs> bow maker. There you go, <laughs> bow maker. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. All right. You, this is, you're spoiling me with that. I have somebody that can get me things when I'm doing my lives. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. So this one right here, you guys, now that we got one down and we got one centered, what I will do is take my ruler and I'll put my ruler there as a guide and then flip this over. And now I butt it right up to it and just make sure my sides are nice and even. Perfect. And then this gets popped up with dimensionals. And I think I'm going to use my big sheet first and pop this up. So you guys, do you like the idea that you're only using half of your pack at the moment and that you can go and duplicate this or you can make like you like what I would challenge somebody else to do is take that extra half of 
like those mats and make 10 or 15 completely different cards. <laughs> like do something else with them. All right, so then this, I'm just centering left to right and aligning it with my white. And since I have a bow maker here, let's see if I can get that out. There we go. I never use my nails on metal, you guys, because I do not want to break my nail or chip it on something like that. So metal on metal. All right. Now if we look at the picture, we got a coastal cabana bow here. So I'm going to, and it's a triple bow. So this is only big enough to do a double. So I'm going to go for it. Um, you guys, bow makers. I do have bow makers like this. A friend from Johnsburg makes them. Uh, I used to babysit his kids. And um, if anybody is interested in a bow maker, I have them. I can always add them into a package that I have going out for you. They are $8 plus shipping. And again, if you have a package already going out with like um, other card classes or other card kits. So this time I'm going to do a triple bow. And so I'm going to do it around three times. Uh, so you can always get a bow maker from me or I have these caddies, you guys. I do have these. They say be creative. If you're my team, they say be happy stampers. Um, those are also for sale. Um, there are 25 for the be creative caddies and they are 20 if you are on my team and want to be happy stamper one. All right. So I made a triple bow for this one and we're going to put that off to the side. I definitely would use glue dots to put the bow on. So grab a glue dot. You guys were fixing this card as we go. I don't know where I lost the bow, but I'll find it later, I'm sure. And then grab this one. I'm going to put that right down there and stick your bow right into it. I always press it really good because then it really adheres to the ribbon or the twine. All right. Then we can just trim our little tails here. And we'll trim our tails over here. Okay, so I had mentioned I was going to do, because of the time, I was going to not put gems on. I will save that for later, but I do want to fix that one because that bothers me. <laughs> so what I have for gems on this one, you guys, I've got the white ones. So in this, it's cool. These are classic matte dots, I believe. There's black, gray, vanilla, and white. So they're very universal and neutral. And so I've got white ones on here. I've got a big and a small, a big, a small, and a small. And guys, at the end, I know I'm not going to sell anything on these cards at the moment. So at the end, if you guys want to go and sell anything, um, you can definitely do it. I have 14 more cards to make with you in the next probably hour. So I'm going to, in, <laughs> in the essence of time, we're just going to uh, rock and roll right through these. Okay, now we can work on this one. So I'm going to grab that from over here. So what you're doing as you're grabbing them is just grab the base of the card and what's on top of it. It should contain everything that you need. So again, you're going to burnish this edge. Now remember, this is a horizontal card. And we've got an extra add-on strip that I provided. You have the Let's Just Celebrate. You have a little flower, flower that's going to go on the inside. And we have a little orange ribbon on this one. Aren't you glad we have class today? I'm just gonna rip that off of here. I save these, you guys, because when I do like product shares, then I can put people's ribbon on those. So I don't throw those away. All right, what are we gonna do? Um, we're going to, so this is popped up and that is glued flat. So what I think I'm going to do is use my black dimensionals and put a little line of black dimensionals around here or along the bottom edge. And then I think I'm gonna put two of them close to the edge here so that when I attach this to the uh, Celebrate, it's popped up and then the black will glue flat. But something like that. And then now the orange ribbon is gonna go behind the black layer. It's pumpkin pie, actually. And what we're going to do is prepare two of them. I'm going to put that right there. Um, Chris tells me, put it back where it belongs so that when you're looking for it, it's where you're expecting it to be. So, <laughs> so it teaches me to put things back. <laughs> All right, so we're going to take our orange ribbon, our pumpkin pie, take one little tail here and secure it to the back. 
and then run it across the front. You could do two, you could do three, you could do one. I'm gonna do two. And then I, you see what I did? I did not wrap it all the way around to save ribbon. Just like that. And now I've got these waiting for me so I can put them down. Make sure you get that so that that does not sneak out of there. This could potentially get used somewhere else. I'm not quite sure. And because the black is getting glued flat, I'm going to take that off. Now this is gonna get glued flat where this is gonna get popped up. So I am gonna put dimensionals the rest of the way here and we're going to cut some of these because you guys they work just as well as the other ones we're gonna put one there and one there okay I'm gonna get unhappy of this little black guy right here the sticker it goes right along the bottom and I actually what I did is instead of taking the sticker off I just cut around the sticker like this. Cut right on that seam because then it leaves it so that it's not sticky back here. I think, let me just see what I did because I did pop it. I did pop it up and I attached it to the back of this right here. So it's stuck to the back side of that. Okay, let me just cut that, just that little bit of white off of there. So how I'm gonna do that I'm gonna put my tear and tape. This guy I put a little too close. We're just gonna prep a little tear and tape. And put it right along the edge here. Like that. And then this sticker. It's going to attach. Now if you wanna see the hearts, you could leave the hearts down there. I was not all about that. So I was just going to have it so you just see, and I'm gonna center it just a little bit better. Okay, so I'm just eyeballing that and that. I'm not, like if it's exact or not, I don't know. But that got attached to that. So now when you put this down, we're gonna put a little liquid glue on this. Now we can pull off the rest of these. Okay, they're all off. Let's move this stuff out of the way. And we're gonna put liquid glue on the black piece now. And then this gets popped up. I've got it a little closer to the bottom than I do to the top, and I've got it centered left to right. So you have about an eighth of an inch. Okay. And then the little flower, got that on the inside here, just like that. And for the gems, I did a combination of black and white. I feel like I lost one along the way. Um, there's, because I normally would have five. So there's a big and a small and a small and a big. And I think what we'll do is we'll add another one just to make it look, what did I put in the, oh, there is, there's a white one that's missing. Look at that, you guys. I put a little white one right on there like that. <laughs> See? Uh, they get transported, you guys. When I move these cards back and forth, like if I don't press the gems down hard enough, they will go away. So there we go. That's what it looks with the finished product. All right, so there is our second one. Now, the next one on the pile looks like this. This one, you're gonna take your card base, fold it again, and burnish it. Or is a vertical card. A six sticker here. I did the same thing with this one. Instead of, I'm pretty sure I did. Or what did I do? You know what? I didn't. Um, we just made a track, I think. So this piece right here, though, let's talk about that really quick. So that is basically about that piece right here. What you need to do is you need to cut it in half. You can use the scissors. You can use your trimmer. Whatever you do, just make sure you pay attention that, like, the side that you cut that they stay to the middle, right? So I'm gonna leave them just like that. Okay, so then we have this, and then this goes here. So that can get glued just like that. Okay, so let's glue that flat. Okay, 
It doesn't matter where the word bubble is, it gets covered up. And then the black piece here, pretty, I, I made this black piece just big enough, you guys, to cover up. <laughs> and this is glued flat. And again, if you ever want to pop something up that I glue flat or vice versa, that's always up to you. But I got to figure out a way to cover up the word bubble. Now, if the word bubble is your thing, figure out something else you can do to maybe see it. All right, then this. Before I glue those down, I want to get my ribbon wrapped around here. So we're going to grab the tear and tape back. Put it right in the middle. Saving two for the side here. And let's get them off of here. And I'm just kind of eyeballing the middle. So I'm gonna do the first one in the middle. Bring it over to the side here. Catch the tear and tape and bring it back. Right across the front, catch the tear and tape. And then go to the up other side and bring it right along the front. Get that and then tear and tape so you guys we did not use any ribbon in the middle back section because it gets covered up then what we're going to do is grab our dimensionals and we're going to pop up here and here first and now remember i cut that blue so this was my cut seam i want to make sure my cut seam gets put in the middle um covered up and I've got maybe a good quarter inch. So I'm just gonna catch those dimensionals. And I'm gonna do the same thing though. That's the cut side. So I want that to be not showing. I'm just gonna eyeball this. Guys, if you need to get the ruler out, go for it. Just, I'm an eyeballer. So, and I didn't push them down really hard because if I don't like where they are, I can always readjust them. So like this bottom one, I can readjust that ever so slightly. I'm gonna put it right there. And there, that helped me center it better. That one too looks a little bit off, so we're just going to pull it off. And we're going to center it on the black. And then kind of set this down. So there, that looks fine by me. Okay, so those are popped up already, or like this is popped up here, but now we need to get popping on the rest of this area. And so I'm gonna put a couple more dimensionals on the back or a few more like that. And then we're gonna put liquid glue on the blue pieces. Now you could have definitely used a whole piece of blue but for some reason, I think I had pieces of paper that were in my drawer that were that size. I'm like, well, that's enough paper. It'll make work. <laughs> we'll make do. So now then that goes right on the front. And how we do our sticker. Because you have the ribbon in the middle, if you put dimensionals, it's gonna go halfway on, halfway off. I'm going to create a channel of dimensionals by using this edge piece here and we're going to cut it long enough and put and actually what I'm going to do is put it right in the middle here and then the other one we're going to put it right on the other side like that because now when we put the sticker over the top it's going to stick to the ribbon which is about the same height as the dimensionals and it's going to stick to the sticker like that okay so we've got our ribbon on and we would do some embellishments next so that's basically what i got for you guys on that one that was probably like a more tedious complicated one there's black black white and black and white so i've got five of them five dimension uh, five ed embellishments on this one you guys we didn't even flip the page here so that was that was the next one here and then we're gonna go on to that one next all right so there's card number three Number four looks like this. So grab the next thing from your pile. First thing I always do is burnish this and get it folded. Now this is a horizontal one. 
nothing on the inside. What we can do is this gets glued onto the black piece and then this gets glued right onto our card base. So I'm gonna go ahead and put glue on both of these pieces. Oh, you guys, I didn't show you this. So you can't see it really well, but when I started the live, I fell down here and there's a pearl and it's almost directly in the inside. You can't see my fingers right here. It's right in the inside of that flower and I keep catching it, but it looks so good in the center of the flower. All right, so that's on here. And then this one, I've got the green at the bottom and the blue at the top. That so just sits right in there like that. And now you've got all these little flaggy things. I did the same thing with this. I left them not sticky by cutting directly on the edges like that. And then that one goes like that. Okay, so there's one. I don't worry about the, the back left side. Same thing on this one. I just cut, I found the groove. I cut in. Hi, Becky Christensen. What are you using to make your beautiful birthday cards? All right, you guys, I am gonna do this side because we actually do use the blue. It's really hard to see it, but I'll bring the card up so you can see these little banner things. All right, so I just trimmed around them so they're not stickers per se, but you can see there's a little bit of a blue thing hanging right out there. That is this side here. So what I'm gonna do is cut this like that so that we have these ready to go. <clears throat> okay, I used tear and tape. along the back side here. And the first little banner, you see the blue. It's about an eighth of an inch from the bottom. Are you living at Diane's house laughing out loud? You're right, Catherine. <laughs> it feels like it. I'm so lucky and fortunate that Diane lives like maybe three minutes from my house. This one actually goes down first. It should have been kind of, it goes in front of that one. And you see a little less of the blue, just like that. <clears throat> and then this next one, you just see a little bit of the blue like that. And then what I'm going to do is follow up with a little tear and tape. And I'm not going to peel the tear and tape off because I'm going to actually pop this up. So we're just going to use it as single-sided tape. It's a good use for your black dimensionals, you guys. Pull those out <clears throat> like that. And then this will get popped up and put right onto the card front. I'm gonna put one right there too. Just like that. All right. Hello there. How are you doing? Good use of the little banners coming out the side. And then on this one, you're going to use some of this Coastal Cabana. You don't know, about four inches would be my guess. So cut three of them, though. One, two, three. You're going to hold all three of them together. Stampin' up a card kit, not a lot of time. Oh, that's perfect. That is exactly why you do have card kits on hand. <laughs> all right, so you take all three of them, and you're just going to make a, an overhand knot, just like this. Four inches was probably a little bit too much because I'm gonna end up trimming off a lot, but all I did then is put that on the side here with a glue dot. So let's grab off a glue dot here, put it right in that middle area of the open white area here and put our knot right into it. And then you can take your ribbon scissors and trim your tailsies. Just like that. Looks like little octopus arms here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, maybe a little shorter on this one. All right, just added a little something to that bottom corner. You guys, I got ribbon on every one of these cards. <laughs> All right, so for embellishments, I've got a big white one, a big black, a little black, little black, or big black, little white, little white. And then a black over here. So give me my odd number. 
So that's where I've got the seven embellishments for that one. And we'll go to the next one, our dog one. Yay. Okay, let's flip this page. We've got friend. Lucky to have a friend like you. So we got our little sticker that's going to go on the inside. Card base. And. Okay, let's look at what we got going on here. So the sticker, same concept with that sticker. I didn't really use it like a sticker. And I only want the end there. You catch the groove and it cuts really nicely. I'm only going to be using that one side of it, so I don't care about the other. So that's prepped. Uh, the black. Let's see here, this one. This needs to get put down, but first we need some ribbon. And I wasn't quite sure exactly where the ribbon needs to go when I first started it. But now that I see it on here, I can kind of guess where it's gonna go. So we'll go ahead and we're gonna put tear and tape on near the bottom. So right about there. Thanks, Becky. And we're going to do a green one. So I've got all these little scrapperonies of green. We're gonna use some of them up. So we got green and it's right about here. Just like that. We'll cut that off. And then there's two blue ones, the Coastal Cabana. And one is at the bottom and one is on top of the green. So just catch the back. You, know, you catch the back and bring it right over. So I was a little bit torn. This garden green doesn't quite match, but I'm like, it's part of the, the other two matched perfectly, but this garden green wasn't exactly a match, but it, it does tie in because there is some greens in here. So we're gonna cover up with a little tear and tape. Just like this. And then this will get glue down. So you guys, I had mentioned early on in my live that I did not have time to deal with calling Spectrum today and working on this project, the internet project for two hours. So I do have a live on Monday at um, one. It's the Let's Just Stamp class and I'm going to try to set my appointment up for 9 o'clock um, and waste my morning with it. If for some reason by 1 o'clock it's not situated or working, I will be back here, you guys. And this is a short-term fix. I do not plan to do every live at Diane's house, right? It is not my plan. But until I get the internet fixed, I don't have any other alternative. So, so I, I appreciate you guys bearing with me here <laughs> here it looks the same from down here right it really didn't change very much but when it's pointed up at me that's when you're like she's not in the hive all right so that goes on here and i think i did pop those up yep but you have the sticker that needs to go along the edge here so and where is it gonna go so this goes right about here and i think i actually have it flush at the bottom i sure do so grab your tear and tape you're just going to use tear and tape along that back edge. And then this sticker just got, I needed to do that, you guys, because when you put this on here, you see white coming out both sides. So what I did is I moved this purposely over and then it covers up that edge there. All right, so then this goes on just like that. I think I'll not do another piece of tear and tape. I'll just let it be, let it be, let it be. All right, then black dimensionals on the back of this. Oh, am I gonna get them all? I sure am, a one fall swoop. Okay, and when you set this on, it kind of rides on top of that ribbon and something like that. Okay, the little dog sticker is adorable. So you guys, this is the only pet card out of all of these. And I just put the little dog sticker on the inside. And then you can make it a birthday card, a thank you of you card, a sympathy, 
card if you have, you know, because you're lucky. A pet is lucky to have a friend like you. So it could be used for anything that you wanted to give to somebody. I have a big black, a little black, big black, little black. And then I threw in a gray one down here so that you guys can see where the gems got used. Okay. So there's that one. Next is the You Are My Sunshine, My Only Sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. Yep, that's it. Don't take my sunshine away. So let's see what we got. The sun's in the middle. So we're going to fold this first, though. So we've got it done. <laughs> Catherine says she's positive that Diane does not mind. Diane does not mind. I don't think so. <laughs> So this one's gonna go up here in the corner, just like that. And then we have this guy. He's gonna get glued to the left-hand side like that. And this one is gonna get glued to the black. So let's go ahead, flip this over. Oh, okay, they looked so similar. So this one's going to go there, and this one goes there. So centered top to bottom and the same distance on the left as the top and bottom. This one goes on here, just like that. All right, so what did we do for this orange pumpkin pine twine? Pumpkin pine twine, ha <laughs> pumpkin pie twine. Um, I finished another roll, yay. Let's get that tape off of there. All right. We're gonna use Terran tape. It's like a fake bow on here, you guys. So we're gonna do like we normally do. Put our Terran tape on the back. Prep two pieces for yourself. And kind of centered in this white area. And bring it back. Make two passes like that. And let's cover that up and cover that up to hold it. And then you can see there's two tails, two and two. So that means you need two pieces, two scoops. All right, I might have cut that a little bit short, but it was what I had that I'm like, oh, let's work with it. That's gonna go underneath here. And all you're doing is doing an overhand knot. So you have two going up, two going down, and two coming out. So it makes it look like it's wrapped around, but it's not really. And so then you can just trim these little guys like that. Boom. Now, can't forget about this guy. Same concept with this. I'm only going to use it on the back. I'm not going to use it as a sticker. So I'm actually just going to cut the edges off. And let's see where that guy is. It goes right there. Okay. Oh, I did the wrong side. Oh, that's okay. So on this one, I have it going this way, but on this one, I'm going to put it this way because I just cut off the right side versus the left side. And that's all right. We're going to run that tear and tape here. And then you're only going to see that color come out the side. So it adds, it matches very nicely. Matchy matchy is always good here. All right, flip that over. Let's put some dimensionals on the back. Just like that. Okay. Pick them all off. And then that's just gonna go right onto our card front. So you guys, when you have these memories and more, they're so colorful and cheerful like this one is. And it just, it was, you know, you got the pieces. Uh, the words are already stamped. Like, did you guys see me pull out a stamp set yet? No, not at all. Everything, those words, I, I tried to use all the things that had words on them to make it so the outside of the card had no stamping necessary. Oh, I know Vera Anderson. I totally get it. The packing up and forgetting things like that bow maker. I'm like, 
Usually my bow maker is sitting right here. I totally get it. I am very lucky. Hi, Beverly Smith. My package with candy was intact and did not need to glue. This class looks great. And we'll watch the replay. You put so much thought into your classes. Thanks, Beverly. I sure do. <laughs> and I'm glad that you guys appreciate it. It's awesome. So yeah, a big white and a little white, a little black, and then a big, a small, and a small. So that's what I put over on the side there. So, and then you got your little sun on the inside of this one. Oh, I'm very lucky. I sure am. We have a good crew community in this in, the, in my realm. <laughs> very lucky. All right, you guys, let's flip over here to hello, 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 hello. That's this guy right here. We're going to grab the next one from our pile here. So let's fold our base first. Move that here. All right, so let's see what we have. Got this doing going down here, so let's glue that. We can do that first. And that one off of our pile. The pink is more towards the top. So like I did opposite, did you see? The orange and pink, and then this is pink on orange. So I did have that thought out like that. So there's that. Now, how do we do this? The flowers are gonna go on the inside with the word bubble. Um, I've got this popped up and just seeing a little bit there. And then this is glued flat. So let's talk about that. So we're going to pop this up. And let's see here. We're going to put six of them on here. Like that. All right. Then you're going to catch... I don't want to see any of the word bubble, <laughs> so... Just trying to get that even like that. And then what happens is I'm going to glue the black on here. And the black, you see something like that. I think I have a little bit coming up there. Okay, so let's go right there. So I got a little black up there and a little black on that side. That's how I did that. And now this whole thing just gets glued flat under the card front. And it was something like that. All right, knot. It's a pumpkin pie triple, triple overhand knot type thing. So let's cut ourselves three pieces, one, two, buckle my shoe, three, four, shut the door. All right, take all of them together and make your little knot. That's it. And I have it right on the side over here, kind of tucked along right there. So grab a glue dot and Put it right in, it's actually on the orange right there. And you're gonna just set it right into it and squish it down good. I'm gonna take all three of them at the same time and cut them at an angle. We'll do the same thing with that one. Now, what does the inside look like? It says, just wanted to say hi. I use this one actually as a sticker. So we'll just put that in the middle. And then I've got flowers on the bottom. And so grab your little stemsies. One comes up, the other one goes down. And you've got a green and a pink flower. You've got the green, like something like that. So use up those stickers. Put them right in the bottom corner like that. All right, now our embellishments. Little big black, little black, little white. Big black, little black. <laughs> Penny, I know. Uh, um, Tigger loves the empty rolls. I definitely agree. Okay, so there's that one. And let's pull this next one out. So it looks like that. So you should be able to grab from your pile and bring everything over. Just fold that. Horizontal card, nothing on the inside. So let's do a little gluing, because we can. These two pieces get glue. 
Again with the liquid glue, you guys, if you don't go so close to the edge, you shouldn't worry about it oozing out. So we're gonna put that guy over here, like that, and then this one. Little Tigger is doing good. He's actually hanging out with Mary Lemke right now. Mary Lemke came in already on Wednesday from near Sioux Falls, uh, South Dakota. She came to the celebration celebration for her first in-person hive experience, which is awesome. And so she helped me set up for the retreat today. She got over around 1030. And now when I left, she was just getting ready to do this class with me from the hive. Like she's in the hive doing this class. And I'm here by day and doing this class. Is that not ironic? And Tigger was sleeping on the chair right next to her, actually. Um, he wore himself out today. <laughs> All right, so we need the coastal and we need the pumpkin. So, oh, I just put them in the wrong spots, you guys. I had this upside down. I think that this tear and tape needs to be a little bit lower. He is doing good. He needs a buddy. Um, his mom is pregnant. She's preggers with... Um, so her, his mom's name is Bootsy because she has little boots for paws. Um, she's Prager. She uh, uh, should be giving birth within the next three to four weeks. And we're very hopeful she's going to make a little sister for Tigger that um, resembles Honey, we hope, because Honey was from her as well. And then we'd have to wait a couple months before the kitten is big enough to bring home. But our intention is... To get a honey 2.0, <laughs> like uh, a new honey. Like now nothing will ever replace my other honey. Like I miss her so much. I like, think about her. She was in my life for three short months and uh, she left a big hole. And so for me, Tigger and Tyler and for all of us, because she was just a little doll. Um, so we're hopeful that Bootsy has another baby that is like a tigery with orange. So that's what we're hoping for. All right, I'm going to put tear and tape over this because I don't want it sticking. I'm just going to try to cover that up. But over here, we need to put that sticker over here. So this is another one where we're not going to use it as a sticker per se. So we're going to cut that, cut that, and cut the little tail here. And hopefully... When we get this kitten, it has the same demeanor and good. It's just like Tigger is an amazing kitten. We just love him. All right. So even when he gets, he broke something this morning and I sent a picture of it to Tyler. <laughs> I'm like, the, it was a ceramic bird thing. And I'm like, the bird died at Tigger's paws. <laughs> the head was broken off. And I'm like, yep, that's what cats love to do. They like their birds. <clears throat> so grab the black dimensionals. We're gonna pop this guy up with some of those. This sticker is on there pretty solid. I don't think it's coming off, so I'm just gonna leave it be. Pick this off. So I did Coastal Cabana and Pumpkin, and I did two lines of each one, if you guys didn't catch that. We're gonna put that right over here. And then the word bubble. Um, I'm trying to think what I did. I did peel it off, and I think what we'll do is I have dimensionals at the, I'm going to use white ones, though, at the top and the bottom. I'm pretty sure that I'm going to just set that right here, and then I'm going to do the same on the bottom edge right here, and then I think we'll cut a little one. Whoa, that's not what I wanted to do. My scissors caught it all. You want that little guy to go at the bottom here. So I'm covering up most of the stick, so it shouldn't worry. So this is, oh, let's pick these off. And then that will go right there. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, you're welcome. All right, embellishments. I've got a big white, a little white, big black, and two little blacks on the side. And that's that one coming together. On Wednesday, when I did this in person, like a week and a half ago already now, they, people like this one. They like that guy. All right, thinking of you is next. 
And that's this one. So grab the next card from the pile. And let's burnish this. This is another horizontal one. So we can get a little glue happy. So we're going to glue this and this. So let's flip them over. And put some glue on the backs of those. And then this one goes on here for the mat. And then this one, I have the pink stripes over to the right. Like that. The flower, let's get rid of him. That goes on the inside, you guys. I just have him down there on the bottom. So let's use that sticker up. And then we need Terran tape again. And that's going to go near the bottom. And we're going to run two lines of the pumpkin pie twine like we did on the other card. And we'll make our little fake overhand knot bow thing. All right, so. Grab that and then weave it back. Just like that. Okay. Put your tape over the top. And then this one, I'll use the black dimensionals again. I'm getting to the end here of my black dimensionals. And when that happens, I'm just going to cut the edges here. And let's just go like... Boom, okay. And then one there, okay. I've got quite the pile of dimensional backs here going on. And then this one goes on the front here, something like so. I don't know, oh, you know what, we're gonna try it. Instead of wasting that, let's see if I can make it happen. Grab your ribbon scissors, cut two pieces that are gonna be used to tie around this. Oh yeah, I got this. <laughs> if you guys need to be nicer to yourself and give you longer pieces of ribbon, go for it. But I'm like, oh, it was a little schnibble. Can use that up. It was perfect, look at that. All right. That's that one. I've got a gray one. I pulled in a gray one over here and then a white, big one. So a small gray, big white. Big black, little black, and a little white for embellishments on this one. Okay. Then, let's flip this over. I think we got our last big one. So this is our 10th card that we're doing. And what you're going to do, fold it, burnish it, horizontal it. Okay. I don't think there's anything in the inside. So let's get glue happy. Let's see, this can get glue, this can get glue, and then that can get glue. So, just like that. And then that one. That can go on the right-hand edge here, like that. Let's get this guy on here. Like that, such a great, like the versatility, you guys. There was thinking of you, there was hello, there was thank you, there was sunshine cards. This goes right over the top slightly. There's just so many versatile sayings in this set. It was an all occasions type of set, just like that. And now we're gonna do the same concept with our twine here, but with the coastal cabana on this one. And two of them. Hi, Becky Gandolfo. No, I am not home. I am at Diane and Bogey's house yet. I did not want to deal with the internet today. I have no time for the internet to be not working for me. So I just packed. Well, I left the filming stuff basically here overnight because I knew that last night. I didn't have time to work on it. So it looks like a no. That is correct. It is a no. I did not have time to sit and finagle with the internet today, you guys. I just... I have my retreat. 11 people are gonna be showing up at my door in the next hour and 10 minutes. 
<laughs> and uh, I had everything's all prepped and ready to go. So don't think I'm like not ready. I'm ready now. Mary Lemke helped me out today. Um, I just uh, didn't have an hour to spend um, troubleshooting internet. So uh, graciously, Diane and Bogie said, "You guys, you can come over, do your class, and I might be here on Monday." I'm gonna when I leave here, I'm gonna call Spectrum and get my appointment set up for Monday morning to get the guy out here to help me figure it out. So that's how we roll, you guys, by the seat of our pants. All right, this one's gonna go right there. Just like that. And now you're gonna cut two pieces here. You really like the cards except for the larger ones. Well, you know you can cut them down and not make them into larger ones, <laughs> Laura. Um, you could, you could, in essence, just get the note cards and like the note card, like the pack that I cut apart. You could get right here, this. You could get this and make these all into the smaller cards, which is what we're going to be doing next. We, we're going to roll into the next five smaller cards. Oh, I had a piece. Dang it. All right. Oh, well, that's what I get for not paying attention. Oh, I'll use that on the next card. So we're going to tie this underneath here. So you wouldn't have to buy the note cards and the envelopes. You could just buy them pack and make different cards. The cards are so cool. Hi, Kathy Jackson from Iola, Wisconsin. All right, you guys, let's flip this the right way so I can try and get this tied. Just like that, there we go. Okay, so like that. And just trim your tails. If you feel like doing three, you can do three. If you want four, you could do four. I just went with two. And on this one, you guys, oh, Becky, I appreciate that. <laughs> we gotta figure it out. Something happened and we are narrowing it down. Big white, little white, little black, big black, little black. And that's what I've got on this one for you guys. Okay, so that's our 10th card. So we have five more to go. So these five are the ones that I needed extra bases and mats for, or I should say bases, because I had more card mats than what I had, you know, card bases for. So, so these are the ones that I, I definitely added to um, make this 15 cards. And so these are going to be your regular size A2 cards. So you're just going to fold this. It's balmy blue. The inside has a butterfly and that little strip. So let's take care of that. That seems easy enough to get that done. So this little strip fits just along the bottom here. So we're going to put a little bit of liquid glue on the back of that. And you know me, guys. I'm going to glue the back of this while I'm at it so that it's ready since I have the glue open. So this little one goes right along the bottom, just like that. Trim off if you need to. And then the little butterfly goes at the top. And then this one, you guys, this is one of the new embossing folders. There's that new 3D set that has polka dots, like little hash taggies, and honestly, I can't remember the other one at the moment. <laughs> I'm drawing a blank, but I'll show you the other one in a second because that gets used on the other one. I'm actually going to put a little more liquid glue on this because it's getting glued onto a very bumbly, what I call a bumbly embossing folder. So they're really raised up. So I want to get as much glue on there as I can. And this gets glued at the bottom. And you might need to do a little trim job over here if it's hanging over the edge like mine is. And then you're going to need the tear and tape again. And we're going to do some Coastal Cabana ribbon on this one. And we're going to do three of them. Just like your little tail goes on the end. And we're going to weave it back and forth three times. So no twine going through the middle of the back. Just like this. Okay, so here's our, our regular A2 card size using one of those card packs, the pieces from the card pack. And I added in 
Oops, that didn't stick, but we're going to pickle it right now. We added in like a petal pink mat. So there it adds a little texture. And what we're going to do is glue this flat. Hi, Linda Hunt watching for a little bit. Yay. Again, because it's that bumpily embossing folder, I'm going to get glue. I did the whole back like that. So that goes on the front. Balmy blue, petal pink, coastal cabana. They look so cool together. All right, then this will get popped up with dimensionals. And this thing is bothering me. So we're going to cut that off and use part of this right away. It just kept getting caught on my scissors, so it was time for it to go bye-bye. And then we'll get that one. And actually what I'm gonna do is put the dimensional at the top of that and the bottom of that. Because if I catch it right in the ribbon, it's gonna be a little bit slanty. So then this goes right on here like that. And we have this flower and I actually did use it like a flower with a sticker, I should say. And what I did is I took, see, I have this little scrap, the smallest little scrap right here. And I'm gonna put, attach it to the back of the sticker and cut that. And then I'm gonna cut one coming out over here. Look at that, I'm gonna have enough with just this. And then I'm gonna do on the other side, have it come out. And look at that, with that little schnibble, it got used just like that. Okay, and they're all sticking to the back of that sticker, which is good. And then you have these two leaf stickers, one's blue and one's green. And I'm just gonna have them coming up the side like that and the side over here. And the little flower goes in the middle. But I've lost a little bit of stick because of putting that ribbon down or the twine down. So I'm gonna help it out and make it sticky underneath by adding some additional tear and tape just like that so that it's sticky sticky um and the other option too is you could have used a dimensional right in the middle too and that's good too <laughs> so all right i'll put that one going this way that one going that way if you wanted to you could fray your ends and otherwise you could leave them i am going to glue this in as well so this is a thinking of you card you could always put it into a birthday card always make it into um, a get well card. It would be a pretty get well card. So that goes in the middle. You got that perfect little butterfly up there. It goes really nice with the flowers. For the embellishments, I have a big one in the middle of the flower. I have a little one in the middle of that flower. And then a big, a big, and a small up there. So that's that one. Okay. All right, so that is number 11. So we're on to number 12. It's another one of my add-on ones with <clears throat> a regular size petal pink card base. Horizontal, nope, sorry, vertical. This is the other embossing folder, one of the three. So that polka dots was one. It's like cross hatchy to me, that's what I call that. Um, <clears throat> so, this is gluing, so we're going to flip that over and flip that over. That gets glued onto the white embossed piece. And I think it doesn't matter, but I'm going to put the little hangy thing up so that I don't risk it popping down at all. <laughs> all right, so that gets glued on here. Now remember, if you have any of it hanging over, you can always take your scissors... Trim it off. And then this one gets put on here. And yes, there is already a heart there, but I put that heart sticker right over the top of it just to make it more pronounced. And then, oops, let's grab it. On this one, I've got so happy for you. So it says this would be a great, if you know a gal who's having a baby or getting married, like a shower card, congrats. And it says happy for you. Happy for you is the sticker. I'm so excited. I like putting stickers on you guys. <laughs> Could you tell I was like, yep, let's get that sticker on there. 
Okay, so this one also has a little bit of Coastal Cabana going on. So let's grab our tearing tape and get two pieces over here and two pieces on here. This would be a perfect shower card. And this one I only did two running back and forth, but if you guys like the concept of three or four, you can do, you got a whole thing of a whole roll. I think a whole 10 yards. All right, so that's there. And then let's cut this. And there's that. All right, I'm going to pick these off because I want that flat. Let's get a little close to the edge there. Okay. Then this can go, I know it looks really kind of weird right now with that word bubble like that, but I almost, I covered up almost every word bubble that was on these cards as I could because they're not my style. <laughs> Hopefully you guys could see the versatility in that. All right, so this now, we're gonna pop this up. Look at this, we're gonna use some more of these. And grab that. And again, I'm only gonna put Oh, come on, give me it. I'm going to put one in here. Oh, there's one. There's one. And of course, we're going to put them close to the, I don't want them over the top of the ribbon or the twine. Okay. And then this one goes like that. And that and go right to the bottom where that word bubble. So, you know, kind of go do, 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 and then you see where it ends and then yeah, that's where you can put it. Cool. And then congrats. I just used it as a sticker this time. <laughs> yeah, you guys probably saw these word bubbles and you're like, why am I going to do with these word bubbles? I felt the same way. I'm like, my goal was to cover them up because this to me looks cute and, you know, cutesy. All right, then a little bit of glue on our inside mat. Make sure we get it glued the right way. And that right in here. And we need a bow. Let's grab our bow maker, or I should say Diane's bow maker. And let's see what we got going on here. We got a whole little pile of schnibbles going on. All right, so that can go there. We're gonna make a double bow. So two times around up and over, nice and tight, and then trim your tails, and little glue dot to hold it on the card front. See here, I'm gonna rip it right there. Then we're done with that, and it's gonna something like right there I think is good. Put that right there. There. It's like a notebook paper. And I put a big black, little black, and a big white right there. <clears throat> and that's what we've got for this one. Okay. So far, so good. Next is this guy. Thrilled for you. So I added a balmy blue <clears throat> base. And then I've got a balmy blue embossed mat for you. Some stars. We already pulled them out. So this is embossed with the painted textures embossing folder, so that's good to go. So let's fold this one. And furnish. We need the green ribbon here, so let's see what I've got for going on here. Green, we'll use that one. Okay. We need to prep this with some tear and tape. You guys, I'm getting to the end. I gotta remember to bring another roll back here. If I come back on Monday, don't have it fixed. <laughs> I'm contemplating, do I leave stuff here and just plan for that? <laughs> it's always like the million dollar question, right? All right. I'd rather plan for it and then have to come back and get it and bring it home than to not plan for it and have to leave right at the start of my live <laughs> and come over like what happened uh, last night. All right. So three times back and forth. That's what I did for this one. I get it that... You don't see the middle area here. So if you're inclined to, 
you could always start and stop here and not put ribbon there but for me it was just as easy to do that and not bring out extra tear and tape for that and then we got liquid glue for that piece and this piece our white just has star a star so you know what we're gonna do we're gonna get glue happy guys so one two three boom okay we're gonna get rid of this one first right on the front like that this one can go on the inside this would be a great um if the girl's having a boy card right thrilled for you you can make it congratulations on the inside if you know um, or it could be like the baby arrived and you need a baby card okay so thrilled for you and then we're going to pop that up and again i don't want to pop it up where the ribbon is so i'm going to get my corners just like that and then here I'm going to get near the middle area like that and then we'll do those oh I'm so close to ending that <laughs> so close so yeah green and blue would be great for a little baby boy card there we go that goes on like this And you've got some stars so we're going to use one up here i use one down there use the smaller one on the side over here and then you got one left on the inside and then where i put embellishments on here i put Big black one in this one, little black, little black, big white, little white. Okay, so that's the embellishing on that one. And we're gonna move on to number second last. <laughs> and this one is mint and black. Oh my gosh, this one's so cool. Like if you need a St. Patty's Day card, that's it. And you're sending it to a friend. It says, I'm so glad we're friends. And it could say, happy St. Patrick's Day on the inside. It would be perfect for the occasion that's coming up this coming week. All right, so burnish that. All right. We got lots of stickers again. And then this gets glued here, and that's going to get glued there. And we've got a white inside. So let's do that one, that one, and that one. So that. That. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's how Tyler and I say it. Wow. All right, that one goes on here. Nice little mat for it. So what's great about this is all these are three by fours, and all these mats on the back were all three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And this is our inside. All right, and then the green. Now that's that crosshatchy thing again. I designed these cards just after I had gotten those embossing folders and I thought, ooh, super cool. All right, so this one's going like this. The little tag thing is at the top. Again, if you need to trim off anything off the side, that one's really good, it's good, it's good. Um, okay, we need linen thread, not linen thread, baker's twine or twine. And we're gonna do green. Hi, Karen Woods. Um, did you, yes, you did get a PDF email. I did email it to you on, what is, I emailed it to you last week. Oh, I got a little schnibble here. I emailed it to you last, oh, I bet I could use that for something else. So, I'm trying to think what day it was. Um, I emailed it to you twice, actually, I think. Once when I had to change the time, and once when I originally sent it. And this class was originally supposed to be last week, Friday. I think I sent it to you on Tuesday, if I'm not mistaken. Um, did you check your spam box? If you search for, Karen, what you need to do is go into your email 
and do a search for enjoy the journey because I titled the email enjoy the journey and see if you can find it. And if not in your regular email, check your junk mail folder too. Okay, so we did green on this one. We're gonna put a little bit of liquid glue around the edges now. Karen, if you look for it and you're not able to find it, reach out to me, I can resend it to you, no problem. All right, so that's gonna go on this front like that. And there's a little baby sticker on the side here. And I did that because when you put this on here, it's like you, I just needed to use it. I think that's what happened is I just needed to use it. So we're gonna put, we're not using it like a sticker. So we're gonna cut those edges off. That will make it so it's not sticky there. Like this. And we need the tear and tape. And it's along this bottom edge on the left. And let's get that attached over here. Just add a little decoration. It uses it up, right? All right, then I keep using these guys up. We, oh, he's stuck. Hang on. Let's put him at the bottom. Let's just get these all cut. Because I bet between this card and the next card, we'll be able to use them up. there and then the same thing with this I want to put because I don't want it to hit the ribbon or the when I say ribbon I mean twine I don't want it to hit it but I want some extra support in the middle and then we'll get this guy over here I will look for some reason a lot of the emails are going into the spam folder. You need, so you guys if you have my emails going into your spam folder you need to mark me as a safe sender in your email so that it doesn't go to your spam for it. Like mark it safe so that it doesn't go into the spam. Because that if it goes in the spam, you don't know to look for it there. So that, that sticker goes there. Then I've got one up there, one over here, and one down over here. Uses those up. I want him to face that way. Then I have this little bit of green left here. I actually take that. I made an overhand knot and I put it on with a glue dot. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna cut that, make a little overhand knot. Grab your liquid or your grab your glue dots. And it went right over the top. And then set that glue dot right, <laughs> set that knot right into it. And then you can trim your tails like that. Boom. All right. Oh, we got just this little tail left over here. And the next card doesn't use green. So we're just going to put it on this one. I know I love the mint color with the black. And it's just like, it just popped in my head. This would be a perfect St. Patty's Day card for a friend. And I'll put that guy there and move him up there. All right, so um, dimension, um, embellishments. Big black, big black, little black, little black. I feel like there should be another one, but maybe not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So between the stars and the embellishments, there are seven things on there, but that's what I got. Three on that one. And the last, but certainly not least, is this guy. Our black and mango card. All right, so fold that in half. And this is the card, horizontal. All right, so let's get glue happy. Now, because the ribbon does not go around these two this way, I just gave you guys this one and this one. And what you wanna do is just make sure they're the same height. If one of them is taller than the other one, take and trim them so they're the same height. That's gonna be important. Do no, I, I don't have uploading, Becky. So my downloading speed is amazing, but they cannot figure out why my uploading is at a one when it should be a 11. So 
Thank goodness Diane and Bogey's uploading is at like a 10, <laughs> which is where mine should be. Um, they keep doing these little tests and they say, oh no, it's fine, it's fine. And it's like, no, it's not fine. Something is getting lost. So that one goes here and that one goes there. Okay, they go right down on here. Then we could do the white piece and this need glue as well. And you know what? Let's just measure this just to make sure that that's the same. It is perfect. So we could glue this and this and this. All right, so ready for this guys? We got three things we're gonna glue again. That, that, and that. Now this one goes on our mat over here, just like that. And I measured it ahead, so I knew it was the same. Had it been a little hair long or short, I would have adjusted that, but I didn't need to. So that one goes on here like that. And then this goes on the inside like this. And if we look at the inside, look at what I got going on with all these stickers here. It says the best time was in the middle. So sweet goes down here like that and then there's one more it says so exciting and that goes right over here like that so that's the rest of those stickers now let's go back to the outside we have some pumpkin pie twine that we need on here and that so we're going to prep two pieces for later and two pieces now and then i think that might be it for the tear and tape for today and then that comes off. And we're gonna do three lines. The pumpkin pine actually matches that mango very nicely. So this is gonna go here and then bring it back. I left a little gap, a bigger gap than I had been doing. So you see a little of that black through the middle. And the last one. Oh, that went on the wrong side. Hang on, we gotta go this way. That goes like that. Put these guys down, cut that, call it a day for this twine. And those, that's what I have left. All right, now this will get popped up. Yay, we get to use up this sheet right here. I'm so excited. <laughs> Little things, right? And then, oh man, we're almost done with this one too but not quite today on that one. All right, so put these guys. Nope, we're not done. We still need them, ha, ha, ha. That's the count would say, ha, ha, ha. All right, and then this will go right onto the front of the card. There's no top and bottom at the moment, so we can just put it on however you like. Just centers in here nicely. And then the sticker here. I'm trying to think here. I did use it like a sticker, but I popped it up. So you're gonna want the whole channel thing again on this one. So what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use big dimensionals. I'm gonna go one, two, three. And then, cause I don't want, I want the sticker to stick to the ribbon, but I don't want it to stick to the underneath part. So we're gonna put that and pick those off like that. And then that last sticker, you guys. Oh my goodness, here it is. It goes right on the front here. That guy's a hair over too far. We gotta move him, shimmy him over here, there. Otherwise he was sticking over the edge. All right, there's that. And then for embellishments, Big black, little black, big black, little black, big white on there. These are happy days. So exciting, the best time, so sweet. Again, it could be for a new home, it could be for a baby, it could be for um, a shower, wedding, all that good stuff. And that completes the tutorial for these cards. And what we did, you guys, we basically got all 15 of these put together. It, like I started at like 10 to 
four. So in an hour and 30 minutes, we basically put all 15 of these together. So they're so pretty. So if you guys were bamboozled or duped by what you thought that that enjoy the journey was all about, because these have nothing to do. I guess when, what do you think about as a journey, right? A journey in life. Like, cause a lot of these could have been used for baby shower, wedding cards, um, new home cards, um, dog like that, going on an adventure with your dog. But otherwise there was only one pet one. There was a one birthday. That could be a birthday. Lots of thank you. So they were all occasion cards, you guys birthday thinking of you thank you you could have even pulled in a sympathy this one would have been um there was one that was a really could have been a pretty sympathy card too uh not the oh that thinking of you that could have been a sympathy one congrats so lots of versatility all occasions all different sentiments so you guys that was the memories and more class and i know i got feline signed up and i know i have um Catherine healy if anybody else was interested in this class you got to reach out to me and let me know soon um, so I can plan to get some of the products before they go out of stock. So let's get my paper scissors ready to go here. And you guys, I do have, we're going to do a drawing for a door prize for somebody that did sign up for class that has already let me know. So we have here, there were 19 people who did the online class with me. So let's grab my phone. So I've got everybody um, numbered already, 1 through 19. So we're just going to do a random number generator and see who the lucky person is to win a door prize for this class. So let's pull up random and number. Let's keep going here. There it is. I'll flip the phone down here in a second so you guys can see. I'm going to put in number 19 and hit the word generate. So let's flip down. I'm going to hit the word generate, and we're going to see the winners. Number five is Carissa Alberts. Yay, Carissa. You won a door prize. So I'm going to circle your name so I've got it. Very, very good. All right. So um, I wanted to show two. I haven't shown this in a little while because I wasn't bringing this over here. But in case anybody wants to still get signed up for the Honey Bee Sampler, uh, this is a class I'm doing in early April. The kit concludes all the paper products, and um, if you want the frame, the frame is an extra $8. I have about 10 more of the frame left, so if you want to save a trip to the store, you can always put it in a box versus in a padded flat rate envelope. So if anybody still wants to get signed up for this, it would be um, coming up in April. It's a $25 class, and then the frame would be extra. So, oh, Laura said it's another great class. Yay, great. Um, all right, and then I have these cards, you guys. So this was from, you guys, I told you I'm getting caught up on giving away cards that we make in class. So this was from the catalog launch party from January, the first week of January, okay? So um, we're gonna, these, if you, in case you guys missed it, this class, I don't have any kits left per se, the tutorials in my online store. You can always watch the YouTube live as well. So we're gonna do, they were all fun fold. So this one went like that and it was a little gift card holder or money holder. So da -da -da, drum roll goes to Susan Ray Hendricks. You are the winner of this one. You guys, my post-it notes are the same color as Coastal Cabana. All right, da -da -da, this one, little fun fold, little pocket card that comes up like that. Winner, winner, chicken dinner is Angela Knutson from Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Woo woo, Angela. All right, da -da -da, this beautiful card that is like an easel card goes up like that, you guys. That one goes to Anne D'Aquisto um, from, I believe, Port Washington, Wisconsin. And last but certainly not least, I have a new gal. <clears throat> I don't know your address. When I had your name come up, I'm like, hmm, Marcy Hessen, H-E-S-S-E-N, won this beautiful card. Marcy, I don't know if you watch me regularly or not, or if anybody knows who Marcy is. I don't have your address, where I have the address for these three lovely ladies, but Marcy, I need your address for this beautiful card. It looks like a birthday cake when you hold it this way, but it's like a step card. Um, so Marcy Hessen, yay. All right, so I'm done doing live classes for a little while. So now what I'm gonna do is the winner's post. I did not do it last night to schedule it for today because I knew I was doing class today and I'd have five more winners to put on that post. So. Um, I'm going to be uh, posting that to go live sometime soon so you guys can see also in case you're not watching the live class that I'm doing um, then you could see your name um, in shining lights uh, what else on Monday in case you guys are wondering we're doing the beauty of the earth class that looks like these three cards I have two sets of this class left okay so two left of beauty of the earth 
And then on Wednesday morning is the Share, Create, Inspire. And then Thursday night, you guys, is the monthly class for April. Uh, March. We're in March. Monthly class for March. In case you want to get in on that, I still have sets left. And then the following Thursday, you guys, is the By the Bay class. And these cards right here. So we've got kits left for that. Just so you know, if you want to get signed up for that. Um, Regency Park is the ink, paper, scissors for this month. In case you want to get signed up for that. I have about 15 to 20 spots left of this one. But that class is about two and a half weeks away yet. Hi, Yvette Smith. <laughs> Better late than never. Um, I'm glad you like the cards, Karen Woods. Karen, if you didn't get that tutorial, please reach out to me too if you can't find it. So that was the ink, paper, scissors for the month. And then just so you guys know, um, I do have the favored flowers stamp a stack for April ready to go. This one is, they're all fun folds too. So there's that one. This one's the pleated skirt technique. This is called favored flowers stamp a stack. And this one is your gourmet one. So that goes like that and like that. Super cool. All right. So a lot of people have been registering for that one. Um, so don't forget to do that if you want in on that. Um, in case anybody missed out on the Let's Just Stamp, not, yep, Let's Just Stamp for February. I have a bunch of these left too, the Citrus class, um, free with an order. Um, I do have, I'm going to just show you what I have really quick, guys, in case you haven't seen a live late, right lately. I have six left of the Queen Bee um, ink, paper, scissors from February that we did this Monday. So I have about six left of that. I have about four left of the Scenic Garden. That's free with an order, and you get the stamp set with your order. Like, you place the order with Stampin' Up! using my host code, and you get, I send you the stamp set with your card kits. And so, this one I've got about four left, I think, maybe four, possibly six. All right, so that's the Scenic Garden class. And then, um, two more classes, you guys. Oh my goodness, so many classes coming up. All right, the Friendly Gnomes is free with an order next, um, the classes. Next month, it's free with an order anytime between now and class. This is the one where you get a, it's a bookmark card. And then this one also is the bookmark card. It goes like that. And then we've got that guy opening like that. This one's free with an order. Um, and then this one is a little fun fold that goes like that. So that's the friendly gnomes. And again, you don't have to have the gnomes. You could put whatever things you want on these cards in place of gnomes if you are not gnome fans. <laughs> Okay, and then the other one here is the Irresistible Bloom stamp stack with me later in March. And we've got five beautiful fun folds again, fun folds. Um, that one, this one, and I talked about this earlier in class that you don't need to have the Irresistible Bloom stamp set to do these. Um, this is paper on the front here. This is all designer paper and just sentiments that you'll need. And all five of them are fun folds. You're not going to get the loose frosted dots. You guys, they were out of stock within one day. So we're going to be using different gems that are just as pretty for this class. Um, and then this last one also is a fun fold, and it goes like that and like that. So that's the Irresistible Bloom stamp a stack. So if you guys need any information on any of this stuff, you can always find on my website here, cardsbycrispy.com. You can find all the information on my classes or reach out to me if, if you need help with anything. Um, I feel like I lost a card in the interim here. <laughs> there used to be five, four here. Uh, right here it is. Okay. Um, what else? I don't know. Um, you guys, if you email me now between now and, um, Monday, just know I have a retreat with 11 people at my house. So I will be engrossed um, in this retreat. So if you don't hear back from me by Tuesday, don't worry. Um, I will eventually get to emails. I always get caught up on them. So I might not answer them in the first day or two when I have something like this going on, but I do get caught up by midweek usually. So if you need an emergency, there's no stamping. So Tyler says those there are no emergencies in stamping, okay? But if you need me for anything sooner rather than later, um, please send me a text or give me a call for that matter. Um, and if you need to leave a voicemail, just follow up with a text message so I can see that. But um, It'll be a good weekend, you guys. We'll have lots and lots of fun. Um, lots of uh, card classes and kits and projects and scrapbook layouts and everything hopefully gets made this weekend. Um, <laughs> that's how it works, right? All right, so I think that's it for this one, you guys. I think I did okay. It's 5.30. I'm glad I started a half hour early. Originally, I was going to start at 3.30 and end at, 
Um, figured I'd end at 5.30, but I figured I needed two and a half hours for this class. So I'm glad because now I can get home and get everybody situated for getting set up for their weekend of crafting. So, all right. Oh, I think that's it for everything now. You guys, I'll plan to see you at one o'clock on Monday for Let's Just Stamp. And Jennifer no Jones, you need the ink, paper, scissors. Which one? Is it, I, I think you already got the Queen Bee one. So you want to sign up for Regency Park is my thinking. But um, let me know for sure. I'll look in the book here really quick too and just confirm. And if you're already, I, I could have sworn I sent you the ink, paper, scissors for February. Like off the top of my head, you got it already. So I think you need the Regency Park. So, um, but we can always get that figured out. So, all right. Yep, Jennifer Jones, you got the ink, paper, scissors for February. So we'll get you signed up for Regency Park. Awesome. That's good. That's good. Um, okay, you guys, lots of sunshine, love, and hugs to you. Thanks for sticking it out with me <laughs> over here. I know that eventually we'll be back in the hive. Uh, and when that time comes, it'll be just as good. <laughs> so, all right, you guys, um, I'm going to count to 10 and then I'll end it just in case it ends early. It has a tendency to do that. So just know that I'm good. Uh, I'll be saying goodbye to you again after the 10 seconds. But if you guys want to pop off, you're all welcome to. But one, to, it's not like a Marvel movie where um, you get a, pre a sequel or a prequel at the end of the movie. <laughs> All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, you guys, we'll see you later. Love you lots.